Beijing's newest train station looks like a modern airport, and a ride on its bullet train is nearly as fast as taking a plane. China's high-speed trains have come a long way from the steam engines that once chugged into the capital before economic reforms in the 1980s transformed long-distance transportation. This is how the majority of people travel across China. Old trains like this go as slow as 55 kilometers per hour when it's crowded. It's standing room only, and the journey can take days. But that's no longer the only option. China is now home to the world's fastest train, hurtling from Wuhan to Guangzhou at up to 400 kilometers per hour. This train is so fast it's threatened airline ticket sales. China's Southern Airlines is struggling to compete on this particular route as high-speed railways change the way Chinese people travel across this vast country. China is spinning a web of high-speed railways with faster connections than ever before. The government plans to extend 3,000 current kilometers of high-speed track to 12,000 by 2012. Estimated cost: 360 billion U.S. dollars, or 60 percent of the stimulus package China enacted to combat the financial crisis. But if you are investing in a high-speed railway system,、uh, you're sending checks to two、uh, million workers directly involved in the railway industry. So that's a very easy call to make politically. China's rail system is now arguably the most advanced in the world. U.S. company General Electric is collaborating with Beijing on technology to modernize America's own aging rail network. While nowhere close to China's investment, President Obama has committed eight billion dollars to high-speed rail. Our nation has always been built to compete. There's no reason Europe or China. Should have the fastest trains. Just like interstate highways transform the United States, faster trains in China will bring infrastructure, investment, and passengers to destinations deep in the countryside. Everybody wants to take the high-speed trains. This traveler says it's less exhausting and more comfortable. Critics counter China is overbuilding, and that tickets on fast trains are too expensive for average citizens. But with living standards rising, more and more will be able and willing to pay to satisfy the need for speed. Emily Chang, CNN, Beijing.